time for us to uh, get this show on the road. Close the door and the doors in the back, so we can uh, we can begin. Sister Williams, Sheila, would you close the doors in the back so we can get get started? Thank you. Welcome all to the Kingsley Terrace Church of Christ. Welcome to you on behalf of our summer gospel meeting. For those who've been here and uh, heard, and for those who have heard him before, Brother Orpheus, 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 Hayward from Atlanta has led us down a fascinating trail of biblical study. We've covered everything on Sunday from what is the gospel, which is the basis of our faith. Monday, we talked about the historical reality of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Most of us, as he mentioned, consider the scriptures a bunch of Bible stories. They're not stories. That's history. And last night, we talked about the church in the mind of God. Each of these lessons has been well-planned, well-delivered, each has been intense, and each has been a Bible-based learning ad adventure. So I ask you all and suggest that you get ready for an experience tonight. Prepare yourself right now by locating your pencil and your pen locating your tablet or note, notepad and note, find out where your Bible is right now. In just a second, Brother Dexter Smith is gonna lead us in some songs to get us revved up to receive the word. And then Brother Terry Bonner is gonna escort us to the throne of grace. Following that, put on your seatbelts, Silence your cell phones. You don't want to get distracted. Jesus is not going to call you. If he does call you, it's not going to be on your cell phone. Silence your cell phones and summon 100%, summon 100% of your attention and your focus and put it on Brother Orpheus Hayward from Atlanta, Georgia. The West End Congregation. Yeah. Church, sure, say amen. Amen. Say amen again. Amen. Y'all know what happened today? Yeah. That was uh, the storm came. Yeah. Brought tornadoes and everything today. I said, <laughs> I said, no, this Texas weather here. <laughs> I said, the one thing that was letting me know that that cold weather is coming when the stuff like this happens, this lately in the season. But God is still good. Still good to us. Let's turn in uh, our hymn books to uh, 666. Jesus, the show no coming soon. Amen. He's coming soon. If you got it, say amen. amen. Well, trouble sometimes. Oh, he fill his heart. We feel freedom. We all oh dear now was that stay. Oh, humble your heart. Say from the chest. 
seen a single way be wrong. Christians away. Yeah, my Jesus is coming. Uh, in morning or night or noon, when it will meet. Oh, those trumpets will sound. Uh, yeah, and all of the days shall righteous be in the but we're going where no one will have a word about. Well, that love was so me, Negroes losing their home. Uh, go say this is God's word, he's so he was about. Yeah, and when is that come to pass with me with the end? Oh, oh, oh. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah, all the glory belongs to you. 
Some of us could have been dead a couple of hours ago. Yes, we have. We could have been dead and gone. But Lord says, I give you one more time to get it right. I sent my warning so you should come here tonight so you can hear the word of God. Oh, I may not speak. Not only mankind, but the universe. Dear Heavenly Father, you loved us so much that you gave your only begotten Son. Forgive us, dear Heavenly Father, for our sins. Forgive us for allowing people to see us and not you. Forgive us, dear Heavenly Father, for giving people a piece of our mind when they need, when they need to be giving them a piece of you. Forgive us, dear Heavenly Father, for allowing them to see us and not you, when we are so quick to be angry, dear Heavenly Father. We want to just show out. Sometimes, dear Heavenly Father, we just forgive us for just allowing people to see us and not you. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this lovely day you have blessed us with. Our friends and our families, thank you for our life, dear Heavenly Father. Thank you for the gospel, dear Heavenly Father. Thank you for sparing our lives, dear Heavenly Father, for we saw all of your glory, all of your power just a few hours ago. Continue to watch over people who have lost their homes, but not their lives. We are truly grateful, dear Heavenly Father, for this allowing us to just be another day above ground. Watch over us, dear Heavenly Father, as we continue to praise you, learn more about your word, that we may take something from the word, dear Heavenly Father, and better ourselves. Less of us and more of you, dear Heavenly Father, so that we may glorify you and glorify others, so that when people see us, talk to us, they see you, dear Heavenly Father. Thank you, dear Heavenly Father, for allowing us these four days of this learning and blessing, praising you, dear Heavenly Father. You've been with the speaker of the hour, the Heavenly Father, all this time. I know you're with him now he, as he breaks off another word, a portion of your word, Heavenly Father, so that we may become stronger and do your will. In Jesus' name, we pray, dear Heavenly Father. Amen. 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 Still getting blessed time after time. Time after time, we're still blessing us all over and over again. When we just able to take a breath, that's a blessing. Amen. 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 We're just able to just get up and just walk. Yeah. 
Just wave my hands just a little bit, just to feel the breeze. That's a blessing. That's a blessing. Let's, let's do this song. Call him up and tell Jesus what the problem is. Call him up and tell him what the problem is. Banks, just call him up. Come on, just call him up. Come on, just call him up. Come on, just call him up. Banks, it's you, just call him up. Come on, and just call him up. Come on, just call him up. Come on, just call him up. Just call him up. Just call. Uh -huh. If you love the Lord, 